This is the Oxchief Alpha. This is the world's first bolt-on servo assembly for a zero-turn mower. Just to be clear, if you Google servo assembly for a zero-turn mower, you, you don't find anything that you can buy that's ready to go, that's plug and play. So we are creating an entire new category of component. When we talk about a servo, we're talking about the electromechanical component that will move the left and right arms of your zero-turn mower back and forth. So check this out. So you can see that the arms are going back and forth with the Ox Chief app by using the joystick control. It's capable of fast movement, right? and it's capable of very precise movement. Your car may have some kind of steering assist where it can actually move the steering wheel back and forth. That's achieved by some kind of servo motor inside of the steering assembly. And this is what we're adding to your zero turn mower so that the arms can move back and forth on their own. The ideal servo assembly would be robust, safe. It would not interfere with the operation of the arms back and forth when the mower is not in autopilot mode. And this is what we have created in the Oxchief Alpha. This is a 15 pound unit. It is not lightweight. It is, it's made of cold rolled steel with aluminum enclosures and really rugged linkages that bolt to the mower. You're wanting the servos to have plenty of power to be able to operate the arms very smoothly to be able to go the whole range of motion without any problem at all. So check this out. All right, and then we can go back. All right, and again, check out what's happening. You've got the servo turning. It is pushing the linkage back, and then it is rotating the drive arm actuator. Um, and that's all through a bolt-on, you know, an easily installable component. There you go. And you want the servos to have plenty of power. You want them to have plenty of speed. So that if you have to stop in a hurry, the autopilot tells the motor stop in a hurry, you want to be able to stop. And you want the uh, servos to not get in the way of normal operation when you're driving the motor around and you're not on autopilot. So we'll switch it off. And it's, there's no problem at all. So we've really designed a component that is based on our nearly a decade of working on these systems where we wanted the perfect autopilot servo control. The old tire manufacturers would say that the one place where your car touches the road is the tire. And there's a sense in which the one place that your autopilot controls the mower is through the servo arms. And so it, it turns out the mechanical component that pushes the arms back and forth is both really important and it's not the easiest thing to design and build well. And if you look at some of the solutions that folks have uh, attempted and they've used on zero term mowers as the industry has matured and as it has gone through development cycles where people started rolling their own zero term mowers up to a point where now we are offering a component like this that you can purchase and bolt on to a mower. The early attempts would involve things like putting big linear actuators on the drive arms. And you know, the problem with something like that is, is that you really can't override it, right? Like you're, you're wanting to be able to, in, in a bad situation, if something goes wrong, you wanna be able to pull those arms. You don't want them to be locked in place. You would see things like people uh, just disconnecting the actual a drive arm from the point where it uh, actuates the hydraulic motor in the back and just uh, attaching a smaller servo directly to the hydraulic motor. And so the arms would have no functionality. They would just flop back and forth and they wouldn't have any control over the mower. And again, I, I don't want that because I don't want a mower to be only available for autopilot. Um, th there's plenty of situations still where we're at in the technology world with mowers, that you're gonna be driving the mower yourself around perimeters and you're going to be using the mower for, um, for smaller areas. That'll be a thing that you're still mowing you know, on your own. 
clearly you want the servo on your mower to behave like the servo on your vehicle, right? You want to be able to override it if need be. You want it to be transparent to normal operation if you don't want it turned on. We've spent a lot of time developing exactly that kind of component. One thing that we're pretty excited about with the Ox Chief Alpha is that it requires no mechanical modifications to the mower to work. There are two mechanical places where you attach the Oxsheaf Alpha to your mower. One is on the back. So these are the actual, this is the tab. This is, it's a heavy component. This is where it sits down over the lip. And you'll notice that there are uh, three set screws on either side. So it, it sits down over the rear, over the lip of the uh, mower and it, uh, you just tighten the set screws down and it really locks it into place. I can go over to this servo assembly and I mean, I can, I don't know if you can see, I, I can shake the mower by the servo assembly. I mean, it's, it's there and it's, it, it's, it's solid. The other place is, so it has to bolt to the mower it has to bolt to the drive arm actuators. So in, in a mower, you've got two three quarter inch tubes that basically you can connect to. And if you move these tubes radially, then you're moving the, the mower. So if you can see, whenever we are moving the arms, this is simply the servos moving this component Right, they're moving the steering arm actuator linkage, which is bolted to the drive arm actuator, and it turns that drive arm actuator. Right, and so this is a custom designed component that bolts in place. There's no welding, there's no machining required. And once you bolt the left and the right drive arm actuator, linkages down you are uh, it, the whole component is it's on and it's ready to roll so the electrical piece you've got five wires you've got a ground two positive and two signal that's it i hope that you will buy this beautiful autopilot servo assembly today even if you haven't yet purchased a bad boy maverick or a maverick hd you can go ahead and buy the autopilot system and have it set up before you even get your mower you get this assembly and you'll be well on your way to not sitting on your mower. Thank you and look forward to seeing you again next time.